Should the government redistribute its citizens' wealth? The, the only honest answer to that is a yes and no. Redistribution of wealth has been part of government actually all over the world since governments began. Where you get into the, the difficult points are what things are appropriate, what things aren't appropriate. My, my take has always been our country is, is even in tough times a very wealthy country. You always want to look out for those who need your help, just like you want to do for a neighbor, if you can, who needs your help, but you don't want to get suckered. And this is, you know, where so much of this disagreement we have today comes down. Look, I've, I go down sometimes to the unemployment office in New York, and, and I do it on purpose because I'm somebody identified with the left and everybody thinks we're all pushovers. And I see the people there who are playing ball in the streets, could absolutely be finding some kind of work, and they're waiting for their check. I don't like that any more than anybody else likes it. So you say that yes and no, but well, here's, uh, can, here's the can, other it, can it be true that uh, the government should redistribute its citizens' wealth, and at the same time that it should not? Well, Those are contradictory positions, Well, they're right? actually not, because again, it depends what it is. When, when we pay taxes, um, when they, when they spend taxes on our defense dollars, right? They are redistributing wealth. If I pay more taxes than you might, I'm paying more for the military than you are. That doesn't really trouble me. I think we need a, a, a good military defense. Well, but let's, that let's is talk, redistribution of wealth. Okay, well, let's talk about that example. In that, let me define what I mean by redistribution of wealth. I mean, uh, forcefully taking money from some people through taxes, legally, in order to provide free goods and services for others. So, right. for example, uh, military spending, which is supposed to protect all of us, is granted some people are paying more than others. Yes. It's a good point. But uh, it's for a service that's rendered to all the citizens. Yes, true. So you're paying for a service. So whatever amount you're paying in income taxes, you're paying for the service to be protected. Right. But if you are being taxed, and then that money is being used for, let's say, Medicaid, right. then uh, you're not receiving that. It's for free goods and services for someone else. No, I hear so you. that's a redistributive tax. Right. So I'm making a distinction I understand your between distinction. Uh, I right. uh, what benefits all a redistri and what benefits some. Redistributive I tax, ta taking from Paul to give to Peter, or Peter for, to Paul. I understand. And the other one is uh, where you, you're you have getting, to you're make, pay for the service that you get. I understand. Getting. I do. You have to make a fundamental choice in terms of what you think we should be as a nation. Uh, there are people, listen, there are little kids in this country who don't get medical care unless we operate that Medicaid program. I still believe that, and I talk to regular Americans about this on a constant basis, nobody has a problem with that. They think that's who we should be as a nation. They have a problem. You know, here, here's my favorite example. Well, I think, let me see if I can get, uh, if I got your, your dish of it. You're in favor of some redistribution of wealth as long as it's being done uh, for worthy beneficiaries. And, so would that and be your position? Plus, Basically. without without waste and without uh, abuse well, and without fraud. With, this, with uh, uh, least amount of but waste yes, and that fraud. Is, that, is, that is my position. Okay. Uh, should the government protect the citizens against environmental hazards? Yes. Should the government protect peaceful citizens against people that want to use force to take their money? Yes. I mean, I don't know anybody who wants to do that, but okay. There aren't people in our society that, that want, want to use force, force to take other people's money? Nobody's used force to take mine. And you live in New York? <laughs> I live in New York. I live in Los Angeles. I live. You mean bad guys who want to hit you over the head? Well, uh, there, there are people in our society that uh, don't respect their fellow citizens and are willing to use force well, to take their money. Well, they're bad guys. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So there are some, right? I mean, if they want to take okay. the money in my pocket, I'm not going to like that. Okay, well, as long can, as they don't hurt me, you know. Uh, can you live well if other people can legally gang up on you and forcefully take your money? You know, that's so hypothetical and not in reality that you're leading to a conclusion that I think would be a false one. If which so, is well, let me finish. Which is the conclusion? Let me finish. Uh, so if, if, okay. if somebody knocks me over the head with a gun Whoa. and steals and, and steals the money in my pocket, yes, yeah. they have used force to take the hundred bucks I carry around. Right. I have a lot more money than a hundred bucks, okay? Uh -huh. And Good. if you're telling me that somebody's going to use force to really take my money, 
you'd have to give me some construct of where they're using force to do that. Otherwise, it's just an outside hypothetical that just has no basis in but reality. If, where if is that they, happening? If, it, if they could legally gang if, up on you and forcefully take if, your money, I could that would, you wouldn't be able to live well, right? Because not if, whatever not you if made, somebody legally... Whatever they made, But you they just could, switched would, the question, though. You went from violently taking it no, to no, legally I, taking it. I, I, I had, that's what I had said, but maybe you... Uh, Are I you didn't. saying violently or legally? I, I, no, I'm saying, can we live well if other people can legally, legally gang up on you and forcefully take your money? You got... What is define gang up? Well, they they can uh, get together and... Is Congress ganging up on me if they pass a tax? Is that what you're saying? Well, if uh, if a special interest group uh, gangs up and though in this way, if they persuade the government to pass a law which uh, forces you to give them your money, I would say they have legally ganged up on you. Uh, let's say they had 51%. Right. And uh, the question is, can you live well in a society where... Yeah, you, I would. I would. Where, I would. Where that, they can do that. I would alter that a bit, and obviously because we have taxes, and I live just fine. But I would point out that that's what we sent Congress to Congress to do, and if they persuade Congress legitimately mm -hmm. that this is to the benefit of the country, then I don't have a big problem with that. If, but are, would you be more safe if they couldn't do it? More safe? Yeah, safe from them. See, from you their keep organ. mixing your metaphors between violence and safety, well, and how much money. See, I your have. your money would be more safe if. It, it was they couldn't do that legally, right? I just I, if, it's if hard did, for me to see where If you're 51% going. of the uh, the people couldn't pass a law to uh, rip off the other 49%, yeah, but everybody you're, would you're, be more safe, no, right? Because you're imposing terms of what rip off is, and you can't do that. When I pay my income taxes, I don't feel I'm being ripped off. Well, uh, well, Maybe it, you do. It, but it, so so no 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 no. Okay. I'm going to make you do this. Uh, okay. If how, how do you define ripped off? Maybe well, you see it differently than I see it. I think I should pay Forcefully taxes. taking your money against your will. What's forceful? Are taxes forceful? Are they, there's a legal requirement that I pay them. Are you, I wouldn't uh, use the word uh, forceful. I would uh, say are obligates ta me. Are taxes voluntary? No, most aren't. Most are not voluntary? I'm trying to think if there's any that are. <laughs> so, no, no, they're, they're, they're not voluntary, they are. right? But, be, but an obligation is not the same as a forceful taking. I well, am a lawyer, and I well, know the distinction, well, and it's well, a big one. Well, if somebody takes some money against your will, then you're being you're forced to pay it, then well, you're being forced. Okay, well, 